Hey guys, so today I'm reviewing the Sunblox. This is the Shiseido um, 50 Plus Wet Force X Heat Force. And so it comes in two types. So this one is for the face and this one is for the face and body. They're available at Sephora. This one retails for $45 and the face one retails for $40. With tax, it's about $90. So... Let's check these out. They come in these cute little pouchies. So let's open them up and see what it's all about. Okay, so here's the face one. And so it's 50 ml. So it's 50 milliliters and it's pretty small. It fits perfectly in like your bag or anything. Easy on the go. Okay, so it... Okay, so it kind of smells like... It doesn't smell like sunblock, but it smells kind of like citrusy and like kind of like hand sanitizer but like very like I don't know okay so this is it's got a nice consistency it's kind of thick you know she thick <laughs> or anything so So, like, it's not greasy or anything, which is a good thing. Yeah, so it definitely smells, it smells nice. It smells like, it doesn't smell like, you know that scent when you, like, spray yourself with sunblock and it's, like, everywhere you can, it is so much subtle than, like, that sunblock. It kind of has, like, a nice, like, very, very, very light, like, floral scent. Okay. So, let's see the body one. Okay, so this one is 150 milliliter or 5 fluid ounces. So, it's a little bigger. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Okay, so this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of those shampoos I used to use, like, back in the day when I was small. You'd go to the pool, you know. They're, like, kind of shaped like a teardrop, and they're, like, supposedly they're, like, tear-free, which people thought you could put them in your, like, eyes and it wouldn't hurt, but it's, like, tear-free, which is, like, it won't, like, tear your hair, I guess. But, um, <laughs> so this one's pretty small as well. You could also put this in your bag. It's easy to carry. Um, it's got this kind of interesting shape to it. Okay, so let's see the difference between this one and the one that is for the face. So this one is a the Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion, and the other one was the Ultimate Sun Protection Cream. So I imagine that the texture is a little different between both of these. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so this one, this one's a lot, this one's a little different. I don't know if you could tell, but, like, it's not white. It's, like, this pink color, like, cream pink color is also really, really liquidy. I don't know if I was supposed to shake it or anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so... <laughs> I forgot to shake it. So apparently this one you have to shake. 
It is honestly really liquidy, which is really interesting. Okay, so <laughs> let's try that again. All right. Yeah, okay, so it came out a little thicker this time. So it's a little thicker, but it's still like, the consistency isn't the same as like the face cream. Okay, so this one is more liquid and I guess so it's easy to put on. Yeah, because this would make it a lot easier. Oh, it feels good. Like, it feels like my skin feels really soft. Okay, so again, it has, it has like that really similar scent. It doesn't smell like sunblock. It smells kind of like this very light floral like um, lotion. And like, it honestly feels really, like my skin feels so soft, which is really weird. Okay, like honestly, my hand, like where I put this lotion feels really, really good. And it blends really easily especially since the color isn't like white um so you're not left with like those streak marks like we are if you use regular sunblock yeah so this is supposed to be really good if you're doing like any kind of water activity it is waterproof heat proof it helps protect you from the sun's ultraviolet rays what I think this is really good for actually is if you're going to use this like every day instead of using like regular sunblock because this sunblock doesn't have that intense scent and so it'd be really good to like actually wear this every single day and just kind of avoid like getting any harmful rays in your skin, skin cancer and it's just it's really discreet. It doesn't smell like sunblock. You can't see it. It's honestly really nice. So I think if you're going to buy it for that reason and you don't want to smell like sunblock and you just want to go up about your day, I think this is really, really nice. And the fact that they're like small packages makes it like convenient to take it with you on the go and actually remember to wear it. Okay, so I did receive these complimentary to sample. Um, they're honestly really interesting and I'm just going to keep using them. So I'll report back and see, um, just kind of how well this works. Maybe I'll do an experiment. I'll put like half of my face with one sunblock and then half of my body with a different sunblock and see like if one of them gives me like, um, uh, like sunburn or anything or how like you know, if it protects you more from the sun. And yeah, I'll probably buy like a SPF 50 and compare the two. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.